Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is Evermind Tarot Scopes. But today, instead of doing a tarot scope or tarot reading, I'm going to just be talking about the Aries North Node and of course the Libra South Node that goes with it. So this also applies to you if you have your North Node in the first house because Aries energy is first house energy and vice versa, right? So Aries, North Node in Aries or any sign North Node in the first house. Before I talk about where you're going, let's actually like take a step back and figure out where you've been, right? Where you've been with the South Node, the South Node in Libra, because the North Node and the South Node are always paired up in these polar opposites. So Libra South Node means that you've ha you have this history of working in partnerships, right? Libra, balance, companionship, partnerships. Yes, this can be romantic partnerships, this can be marriage, uh, this can also just be any type of one-on-one -on -one relationships. And so your soul really excels at balancing out partnerships, right? And working in tandem with one other person or multiple others, but there's always this one-on-one -on -one connection, this one-on-one -on -one balance. And with the South Node in Libra, you really like value justice and you value equality. And so these are all the really good things about the South Node. But the problem with having anything in the South Node, right, is it ends up being overbalanced, <laughs> like overbalanced, like too much of it, too much of it. Um, and that's why we end up having to explore the North Node to develop beyond the limitations of the South Node. So this means that if you have North Node in Aries, South Node in Libra, you have some kind of low vibe Libra energies. So, and those, those low vibe Libra energies are the ones that you're going to be working on releasing in this life. So what is a low vibe Libra energy? This is interesting because we, we tend to think like justice, li like Libra, equality and balance that that is like so awesome and perfect, right? Like what could possibly be low vibe about that? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's almost like if I could even use the phrase toxic equality, <laughs> if that if that even like makes sense, um, it, it's basically like that. Or <sighs> an over fixation or an over dependence on interpersonal relationships. With South Node in Libra, you can almost become incapable of standing on your own. You can become fixated on the other. This could be like this doesn't ha this doesn't have to play out romantically, right? Because I know it's really easy to equate Libra with romance, but it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be that way. But it does for a lot of people, right? With Libra South Node, um, you've probably had many past lives where you were essentially someone's partner, right? Someone's partner, um, like lives where your entire life kind of played out in partnership with someone, and that was a really beautiful journey to go on, right? But now it's kind of left you a little bit like struggling to stand on your own, right? Struggling to stand on your own. Um, and I, someone with the South Node in Libra, this could really easily be like people who struggle to work independently, people who never really want to be single, um, or people who always um, like overvalue equality to the point where they actually don't treat themselves equally right? Where it's like you want to maintain harmony, you want to maintain peace, right? You want to maintain the balance, but in trying to maintain the balance, in trying to maintain harmony, in trying to maintain the peace, you end up screwing yourself over. You end up sacrificing yourself, right? You end up sacrificing yourself to maintain the peace. So this could, this could, you could easily see how this, this can play out. One example of this, one easy to imagine example of this is how in an, in like a marriage or in your dating life or whatever, you can easily just end up sucking it up, right? Sucking everything up, always just letting the other person do what they want to do, right? Never really standing up for yourself, never really communicating your needs because you really value harmony, right? You value harmony between self and other and you want everything to be balanced and equal. But it's like in in always in always valuing harmony and, and in always wanting the other person and always wanting everything to be fair for the other person. It's like you have such a very clear sense of what is fair, what is fair, what is fair, that you actually can end up making everything fair for them, but like nothing is ever fair for you. So this is the, the hard part with, uh, so your, your, your Aries North Node journey is essentially returning you to the self 
and getting you to stand up for yourself and reminding you that you are you, you are an individual, you are an individual soul, you are an individual spark, and that you do not need to define yourself in relationship to others, right? This is totally returning you to the self. Um, so again, if this happens to be playing out for you in terms of interpersonal relationships with your North Node in Aries, like this could be someone who goes through some kind of really difficult breakup, like a divorce in their 40s or 50s, right? Something like that. It's like, I cannot believe that I'm being thrust out onto my own after having been in this partnership for so long, right? Or this could be a business partnership that, that where the, your business partner totally screws you over and, and you end up getting thrust out onto your own. Or this can be, if this is playing out in a really toxic kind of way where you're in like a, a cycle of unhealthy relationships. And this doesn't have to just be romance, right? This can really easily play out with friends. If you find that you're often having like, like it's like you wanna have your BFF, right? You wanna have your close personal friend, but you keep getting in friendships with these people who just end up being really needy, being kind of energy vampires, or just kind of always calling on you when they need help, right? And they're never quite there for you in an equal way. This could be this, like you break this cycle by standing on your own, right? By standing on your own. And this could even play out in terms of experiencing some kind of injustice in your life. That is, it's like you could experience like a whole slew of minor injustices, right? A whole slew of minor injustices. Um, but if you just keep letting them slide, if you just keep letting them slide and letting it pile up and pile up, eventually <laughs> it's going to get to the breaking point where you experience an, an injustice that is so intolerable to you that you eventually finally do stand up for yourself, right? Something that is the breaking point, something that makes you go, okay, like this could even be a situation where you have to take someone to court, right? Because it's like some kind of legal injustice and you have to fight it in court. Because with Aries, <laughs> this is moving you out of like the airy fairy Libra energy, right? Moving you into the spirit of the warrior. And of course, I don't like to overly associate Aries with war, right? Sometimes Aries is overly associated with Aries, the god of war, right? Um, but there it is definitely one element of the Aries energy where you, you need to be willing to be a warrior when that is relevant, right? So sometimes you do need to be a warrior. Sometimes you need to be a warrior on your own. With the North Node in Aries can be quite challenging because you could find yourself having to stand up for yourself, fight for yourself with no one else's support. It could be just you. And this is the same thing if you're North Node of any varieties in the first house, right? This could be you returning to the self and having to stand up and face the whole world and go, no, this is this is not just for me, right? As in like, there, I am the victim of injustice here and I need to stand up and I need to speak for myself and I need to stand my ground and I need to say that this is not right, right? Like it's <laughs> learning to fight for yourself the way you would fight for others, right? With South Node in Libra, always fighting for others, always being there for others, always worrying about the other. What about you? What about you? Can you stand up on your own? Can you stand up on your own two feet? Can you be the only one there? Can you stand up, look around and realize that no one else has your back? And I mean on a human level, right? Because obviously on a spiritual level, the whole universe has your back. And that's going to be something also for you to remember that like you are the flame, right? You are this spiritual being and you like to tune into your own inner fire, your own inner flame, your own inner soul, right? The very, very spiritual side of Aries is just the power of the soul, right? The, the divine spark that is you. So we're turning you to that and basically allowing everything else that is not you to completely drop away. Everything else that is not your soul to completely drop away. But on the very human level, there, there, there can be this experience of like having to stand up and realize that you have to stand alone and realizing that you have to stand up for yourself and you have to fight for yourself. And the thing is that once you go through that big moment, <laughs> once you go through that big moment where you really do that for the first time, ah, now you've had the breakthrough. Now you've had the breakthrough. And now, bam, now you're gonna be balanced, balancing out with the Libra South Node, with the Libra South Node, right? So this, is, this can be very interesting. So the feedback loop, the feedback loop that happens here is once you get to the point where you stand on your own, where you stand completely alone, you stand up for yourself and you stand up and fight for what is right for you, right? Once you've established that as, okay, now I'm in my Aries North Node energy. I have established this. I have, I have explored this. I am here. That is when you can actually get the partnership that you, that your South Node desires. But, but since you've cleared out all of the lower vibe Libra energy, right? The lower frequencies of Libra, which is essentially like 
stuff that gets you into toxic relationships, <laughs> right? And unhealthy relationships, unbalanced relationships. Isn't it funny when we have too much Libra energy, things actually become unbalanced because too much of any energy, right? I'm going to be saying this about in every single one of these North Node videos, there's going to be this recurring trend of we're going to find out the lower frequencies of every sign, right? Every time we're in the south node of a sign, we find out what the lower frequencies of that sign are and we release them, right? We'll release those lower frequencies and then we're left with this like purified version of that sign. So once you stand on your own and you stand up and go like, I am Aries, hear me roar, <laughs> right? Now you can fully um, activate the higher frequencies of your south node because you've dropped all of those lower frequencies of Libra. And so this could be somebody like after going through a horrible divorce, and then being on your own for a while, having to stand up for yourself, maybe having to go through a court battle, maybe having to really fight for what you deserve, and then being alone for a period of time. And then you find, wow, now the love of my life finally appears, right? Now, now I have a, a truly balanced relationship, or now I truly find balance in my life. Now I really find the business partner that helps me like succeed, or now I find all of these satisfying friendships, right? So it's by standing up for yourself, returning to the self, getting acquainted with your soul, and know, learning that it is okay to fight, right? Knowing when it's okay to fight, knowing that it is okay to fight for yourself, causes this, is, causes this really beautiful feedback loop that will bring you what you really desire. So it's something you gotta, gotta rewrite in your head. If you ever find yourself thinking, I just need to make my partner happy, or I just need to make these other people happy, right? I need to make these people happy, or this person happy. I need to make this person happy. I need to give them what they want. I need to be what they want. I need to make sure everything is fair for them. I need to make sure they're satisfied. If you find yourself overly thinking about the other and finding that that never really works, that somehow all of your interpersonal relationships always end up falling away, falling apart, or being unhealthy for you, <laughs> it's when you stop doing that, it's when you focus on yourself and you just be yourself, and you just focus on your soul, and you become totally comfortable standing up for yourself, that's when you go, oh, <laughs> now suddenly I have the relationships that I've always wanted. Now I, found the, now I find the balance in my life that I've always wanted. So it can be counter, counterintuitive there. It's like, this is, this is what happens with everybody's North Node journey. You find out that the South Node was kind of tricking you. Your South Node was trying to, it, it, it was like, trying to get what you want, but in like a pathological kind of way, in like a low vibe kind of way. So once you really face your fears, explore your Aries North Node, that's how you actually get what you want. That's how you get the relationships that you want. That's how you get the balance that you want. And you might not believe that until you see it, right? Because your South Node, your Libra South Node lies. It lies to you. It lies to you because that energy needs to be refreshed and it is refreshed by becoming more like Aries, right? By reigniting your own Aries energy, right? Your own inner Aries energy. So I think that is the main highlights for North Node and Aries and also for North Node in the first house. You may also want to check out the other video that corresponds to you, right? The other court, because it takes two, it takes two, it's your sign and your house for your North Node, those two, you wanna watch both videos. And if you're finding me for the first time, I just let you know that this channel, this is Evermind Terascopes, where I do, I'm gonna be doing Terascope readings, right? Um, and talking about lots of stuff to do with each individual zodiac sign, but I also have my original YouTube channel, Evermind Oracle, the link will be down below. Um, I do more esoteric, unusual off the wall kind of tarot readings and I talk about different types of spiritual things there. That channel is likely to resonate with you if you identify as a starseed or a light worker or any type of off the beaten path type of mystic type of person. So I hope to see you guys again soon. Talk to you later. Bye. <coughs>